The year is 1995, and even in rural Finland, technology is booming. Cable TV, computers, wireless phones, and yes, even the internet. However, as impressive as computers are, there is one Finnish man who takes computers more seriously than others. All right, just gonna let uh, Microsoft Windows 95 boot up here for the next uh, four and a half minutes so that we can go check out the YouTubes. Uh, you know, I use a lot of, uh, oh, what is this? What is it, blue screen? Blue screen to death? Ultimate crash? No, 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 no! But one YouTuber is going to have to pick out a brand new computer set full of the highest quality parts. Let me ask you something, you boys like Windows 95? I hope so, because we're gonna have to get a brand new computer set up. So there was a big update to the game, where now you can legitimately buy a brand new computer. I think it's right about time in the morning. I think it's probably like 10 a.m. or so, which is perfect time for an ice cold, well, room temperature beer. And while we're at it, I gotta bathe a little bit too, because the, uh, the mosquitoes or flies or whatever they are, they're out in force today, man. Slurping up all the fecal material off of our body. Let's go ahead and jump in the pool real quick over here. Luckily, as bajillionaires, we do have this fantastic uh, lake water pool where you can't even see the bottom. This is like the dirtiest pool you could possibly have. I'm probably getting like scurvy just being in here. Because I don't think that you get scurvy from being in a dirty pool. I'm getting sepsis then. That make, that make, maybe a little bit better. I don't know, maybe like botulism. Actually, I think that's for food. Anyway, the point is, is that uh, we're not dirty anymore. So in order to buy the new computer, we have to go back to our original house, which we haven't been to in a long time because I've been living it up over here in the land of, uh, the land of fanciness and money and, and power and demonetization plants. But we have to go back over to our old house because that is where supposedly there's a, um, let me actually open up the, uh, thing over here. Supposedly there's a new catalog that we can utilize to buy our brand new setup. And for some context, by the way, I will be a YouTuber that can legitimately compare the setup that we're going to buy to real life statistics because I had Windows 95 as a young man. I remember everything about it. So the taking a while to boot up. I don't remember if it took that long. I remember Windows 3.1 taking a long time. Oh, by the way, everyone, look, it's the friggin' Setsuma. I know. We haven't had it in a nice long time. But I decided to finally put it together. I took some time. I got it all set up over here. I, yeah, it should run. <laughs> Last famous words. Come on, baby. Here we go. I was gonna say, I'm, I, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied that it does in fact run. Man, it has been a hot minute since I've driven the Satsuma. Man, this thing feels fantastic. Compa you know, consider we've been driving souped up mopeds and everything else for so long. I kind of want to smash the windshield out, but I don't actually remember if you can, like, He-Man punch the windshield. I guess there's only one way to find out. Answer is yes, you can absolutely He-Man punch the windshield. What is this? You gotta be freaking kidding me. I feel like this thing isn't running like it used to. Oh crap, I didn't put my seatbelt on. Um, oh, ball sacks. Oh, mother of God. Uh, huh, there we go. Now we're set. Yeah, we get backfires, we get all kinds of stuff. I have to tune this thing. I mean, we haven't, we haven't messed with this car in a long, long time. Like it's been a long time since I've done anything with the Satsuma. It's like a long lost lover. I feel so bad because she's just sat, sad and neglected in front of Flatari's shop for the last like thirty-five episodes. I don't even remember. God, I had Flatari tune this thing up. I think he jacked everything up. This thing's running like, like crap. It's running like, like a 90-year-old woman. But not like one of like, you know, the impressive 90-year-old women that are independent and have the ability to remember their grandchildren's name and stuff like that. I'm talking like one of the ones that, you know, would like pull into a, a, a CVS and then think that the car is in reverse, but it's actually in drive. So they jump over the, the concrete divider and then they smash through the brick wall right into the pharmacy. I thought that Flatari replaced all of, I could have sworn I paid him like a crap ton of money to replace like all the parts and everything like that, but it's totally possible that he just gypped me because to me, I also kept his Ferndale for like 
a year. So he could be a little bit sore about that. Uh, is it just me or is there no oil pressure? It really looks like there's no oil pressure. Crap. Uh, this is interesting. I can't turn the car off. Like, I even have it choked out, trying to just stall it to death, and the car won't turn off. I'm gonna pretend this is not happening. Oh, piss. I'm pretty sure I have some oil laying around here somewhere. I don't know why we're missing so much oil. Again, there's so many potential parts missing in this damn thing that it may be my fault. What the hell? I got sugar for days with all my freaking oil. I got yeast laying out here. Brake fluid? I mean, I guess I might need that. Well, damn it! I seriously don't have any oil laying around? Oh, by the way, I think you can cook sausages now on the heated up engine of the Satsuma. I guess now is as good a time as any to try because I can't turn it off anyway, so we essentially have like a little portable stove. So here, uh, here we go. Here's some delicious sausages. How long do they take to cook? Crap, I got my sausages like stuck in the gears almost. Hold on, let me, that's like one of the worst things that you could possibly do in your life is get your sausage all jammed up in there. Oh, for the love of God. Just sit there, sausages. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll see if it cooks up nice and nice and smooth or not. I don't know if you need the hood on it or if you could just lay it directly on the uh, the engine like that. Well, while this is happening, I guess it's a good time to go get some cardio in. Because over here is supposedly where the catalog is. By the way, I've managed to wrangle up all of the vehicles and bring them back into the area. Look, everyone, it's the crap tanker. It was out in the middle of the water. Uh, that was an interesting thing that to do. I think we have a power bill and that is the advertisement. Oh, look at this. It's the... TMI ATK Hari Eric Oist We're gonna do this. Eric Oistarjois Verastanthianis. Anyway, it's an X33. I actually had twice of what that computer was. I my first computer I can remember having was an X66. So I don't know what any of this means. Uh how do you Oh, we just click on it. Whoa! Oh, it, it like popped out a little uh, a little letter here for us. I thought maybe you'd have to I guess I assume you just mail it like you would a normal item. So we probably have to go back over to Tamo's shop, drop this in the mailbox, and I don't know if it shows up for him or if it shows up at the doorstep or what. Those sausages look cooked to you guys. It's freaking same to me. Ugh, uncooked sausages and beer, whatever. I'm going to take one of these with us. We're going to have to take the van. However, the van has never failed me before, but we gotta get to the store for a couple reasons. I need to buy- well, I need to probably just pick some oil up off the ground because I know there's gonna be friggin' plenty of it. So who, uh, who here wants to see a magic trick? You ready? You wanna see how to make a, uh, how to make a windshield disappear? Now you see it. Now you don't. I literally can't turn this car off and now it's revving at 7,000 RPMs and I can't stop it. I have no idea what sort of demonic entity I have allowed to possess this car. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and pray to God that I can make it to the store and back before it explodes or catches fire. And remember, kids, always put on your safety trap. Always, always put on your safety belt. Will it save you? You got like a one in five chance. I'll tell you boys something. Sun's going down. That means it's time for a beer. Police don't come out in my summer car after this time. We work like banker hours. They're around from like 8 till 2. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems like the police are never out later in the day. It's like they just quit after a certain time. Lunchtime comes around it's like 12 noon. They take a two hour lunch and then you just never see them again. Roll on up, slam on the parking brake, turn the ignition off. That's how you friggin' do it. Grab a beer. Can't forget that step. What are you doing over, scumbag? You guys just looming around? What happened to this guy? Oh, you're stuck, are you? Yeah. Wasn't that an unfortunate turn of events? Heads up, ball bag. I gotta go ahead and mail this. Daddy's about to get a brand new computer. And you can suck right on that. I'm gonna tell you what. Now, how do you... Can I get it? Oh, I think it went inside. Right there. The white seed of, of technology went deep inside of the cavernous container over here. Now to grab some oil because we're gonna need that too. Oh no! No no no! Oh! 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 Okay! Oh, oh why is everyone trying to kill me? You son of a bitch! He knocked my freaking van over! No! <laughs> why is everyone trying to kill me today? I need to get this thing- Oh my god! Oh come on! Seriously? I need to get this freaking thing home! I gotta go take a- take a nap so I can- Get the new... Oh, 
Jesus. Where's Satan when you need him? Oh God. Oh God, my door is open, but I can hear it. I don't know exactly where it is. Oh, is it right behind us? It is. Oh God. Oh, it's the Satan mobile. It takes no prisoners. Uh, I gotta get out of here. The freaking bus takes no prisoners. It will kill you instantaneously if you allow it to. So we've got some oil. I'm set to go. I bought a couple of extra things in the back over here too, like some friggin' bug spray because I can always use more of it. So you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments section. Do you remember the specs of the very first computer that you ever had? Because I remember it. The very first computer I ever had, it was a 66 megahertz. Megahertz now, understand. It had eight megabytes of RAM, okay? It had a 250 megabyte hard drive. I remember that. Uh, it had a CD-ROM. Uh, Windows 3.1. Well, it had DOS originally, but if, I think we were, we eventually got Windows 3.1. I don't really remember anything else besides that. I don't even know if there was graphics cards back then. I can't I can't really recall. I'm pretty sure this was a it's like an a, like an IBM built pre-built machine. And I, I wasn't building them back then. That's for sure. And I don't think my dad was building them either. So, but I remember. I think it was like 1990. When would it have been? It would maybe like 1996 or something like that. I got a magazine. It was like a PC World magazine. Uh, and it it said most powerful computer in the world, 200 megahertz. <laughs> and it had like a, you know, where the where the depth of field is all like incredible on the picture. So it looks like the, you know, it looks like the PC is 10,000 feet tall and everything like that. It's all stretched out and crazy and the background's all blurred and everything. I don't know, I just think about stuff like that because I've had a lot of PCs through the years and it makes me remember that like right now, this PC is a five gigahertz PC, you know, with eight cores compared to 66 megahertz and and you know 200 megahertz which was the most powerful computer in the world at that time and let me ask you this too you have to let me know do, do you guys remember your first graphical game that you enjoyed like i don't mean like you know snake or the little turtle that you would have on a on a mac where you could put in coordinates and he would turn and move across the screen I'm talking about like a real graphical game that had full graphics and everything. The one that I probably remember the most is Wolfenstein. I played a lot of that when I was young. There was a pinball game too, but I can't remember what it was called. But it blew me away because it was, uh, you know, so, so realistic. It was so lifelike. You know, the graphics almost looked like a, like a real pinball machine. Alright, car's just been idling the whole time. That's, well, idling at 7,000 RPMs the whole time. That's freaking great. Very refreshing. I want to take this opportunity to mention, I have never seen Tamo ride his bike before. Well, <laughs> no! <laughs> Does this mean that the store can't open? What the hell? What happens now? Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Tamo! <laughs> No, this screws up everything. It screws up the whole freaking episode. Am I supposed to? <laughs> Table got freaking jackacated. Oh my god. Can I pick this up? Like, can I ride this? It almost looks like you can ride it. Like, for a second there. I mean, I, gu I guess you can't, but damn. Tamo, buddy, you gotta wake up, man. Come on, scumbag. Get inside the store, man. I got stuff to buy. I gotta see if that computer's coming in yet. I don't know if I can fix this. Like, like if you get inside, can I like shove him inside the building? I don't think I can. Well, we've got ourselves a freaking problem here, people. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go figure something out real quick. All right. Well, it's a brand new day. Car's running a lot better because it has some oil in it, but the oil is literally just pouring out of the car. Uh, I checked the oil pan and everything. Uh, it's all bolted on tightly. So, I don't know where the hell all the oil's going. Uh, it's flying out of somewhere though, so I guess I'm gonna have to like keep putting in a, a fresh thing of oil whenever I go to and from the, the store until I can figure out what the hell I didn't tighten down. Awesome, and we're out of oil again. I should have just taken the friggin' van. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Tamo made it to the store today, yes, without the bean bags getting in the way. And this right here, 
must be our brand new computer. I'm so glad. Although I gave up the, the suitcase full of money to bring a drunk man back from the dead, I'm glad that I saved some of the cash because I would be screwed without it. All right, let's throw this thing in the car. I'm gonna have to fill it up with more oil and I gotta figure out what why this car does not want to keep the oil. All right, the time has come. We're going straight inside and hooking this thing up. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be on AOL all night long. ASL, baby. That's what we're gonna be doing. Anyone here know what that means? Is that before people's time? Do people still use it? Oh! Now, do you put it together or how does it work? Like, here's the monitor. Is there a check mark, like, where it's supposed to be? Or do you just, like, do you just kind of, like, throw it wherever you want? It kind of looks like it's mutable, but... Alright, so we'll put the monitor there. I don't know. Here's the case. I feel like this should go somewhere. Like, there's... Yeah! See? I knew it. It's like putting together an actual car again. Yep, this clicks right in. I guess in the end, the, uh... This particular way of doing things in the game... I mean, I guess it works. Look at this mouse. It's like the same mouse I had for 15 years. Mouse worked really well for me, I'm gonna tell you what. Now, where did these go? Okay, that was a bunch of lies. Let's kind of finish headbutt these to the... Okay, it says that they go there, but they clearly don't. Are we allowed to put these wherever I want or something? Does it matter where I throw these things down at? Because it kind of... I feel like this thing's not being truthful. Oh, there we go. Now they slipped in real, real soft. All right. So... Does it come with any software or anything? Enter play mode. F? No. Is there a power button? Oh, here we go. Yes. Can you sit in the seat or do you just have to pretend? I guess you just have to pretend. Look at this. I remember all of this. RSPOS. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it takes forever to start up just like you'd figure. So someone had mentioned and I totally forgot. So I, I had to come back here to pick this up. That there are some hidden games. Inside of Drunk Man's new apartment, we have Massacre and Rapula. I'm kind of scared to check either one of these out. All right, let's try Massacre. I'm kind of at a loss here because none of my old... Like, I remember some of the old DOS commands. I think Dur was one of them. It doesn't work. So let me try and shove this diskette in. You just kind of, like, shove it inside? Oh, there we go. It slips right inside. Okay, now you can come over here. Now you can click on Play Mode. So I guess it would be Massacre? Oh, crap. I think I got it to work. I forgot it was in the A drive, and you have to go to the A drive first, so you have to do A, uh, colon. And then you should be able to play the game. Oh, mother of God, you can hear it trying to slowly slurp our souls from our body. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Massacre! Deep within the, the jungle. Private, forging hard, what does it say? But suddenly a portal appeared. And he found himself in another place. Oh, what a fantastic backstory. Press enter, All right? So, how do you play? Oh, <laughs> seriously? Oh god, it's like a bad Castlevania! Mother of Jesus, there's not even a jump! It's kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> this is what my summer car has become! How do you go down? Oh! You just press... It's so loud! It's so loud... Hey, I gotta... Kill the, the zombies over here, the skeletons or skeletors or whatever the hell they are. Shoot through the aliens. Probably Nazis or something. It's usually Nazis, isn't it? That's what it always was for Wolfenstein. Oh! All right, hold on. We got to get the magic pedestal. Wait for it. Wait for it now. Yeah! We got the map. Oh, shit. Come on, Rambone. You can do this. We're doing it, man. I don't know, like, what way we're supposed to go. Oh, I probably should look at the map. Look at this BS! Ow! What the horse am I supposed to do here? You know, kind of go past this dude. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Frickin'. Are they taking our hair off our body? They get wrecked. Frickin' pleb. Yes! Been playing these games for years. You must not know. Is there, like, a way for me to climb into the tube, or...? Oh, I got the talisman. I got it. All right. This is blowing my mind that I'm actually playing this game inside of a game. Like, it's it's too much, man. All right, we got an alien over here now. Get the other talisman. Shoot him a cup. Whoa! It's like a Metroid guy. Oh, I'm out of ammo. 
I'm like legit completely out of ammo. All right, suck on my brains. I'm done. I've had enough of this. Rambo is going down. Jambo over here is going back to the Vietnam jungle. I <laughs> okay, stop. It's enough. I think that's enough for now. I gotta grab a drink. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up dying of thirst. Oh, it's like in real life. You start playing at the computer, and the next thing you know, you're freaking dehydrated, you haven't eaten, and it's two o'clock in the morning. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of My Summer Car. We're gonna check some, we're gonna check the other disc out next time, because that was only the one disc. We're gonna have to see what other horrible games there are to play. There may be other hidden stuff all over the map. Like I, in fact, is there anything under the bed now? Like I always mention, you never know with freaking Topless Gun, he hides crap everywhere. If you end up finding some hidden discs, let me know about them. We'll see if we can pop them inside the computer and play them. Anyway guys, if you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to go ahead and try and shove the like button into the, uh, the floppy disk slot. Until the next time folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>